What is up everyone? Today is um, Friday the 29th. I wasn't gonna forget the date this time. Um, and this is cheesesteak review, I believe number 21. Now, um, uh, I, I don't really have high hopes for this one. It's kind of it was just a spur of the moment, last minute thing I thought of this morning. Um, the major supermarket down here in Florida is Publix. Um, they're all over the place except up in the Northeast. So they have a really good app. Wait for Harley Harry to ride by. Um, they have a really good app and you can um, order, they call them subs down here, which it's a hoagie. You gotta get a hoagie. Um, but you can order on the app, you can order whatever you want, pick, pay online and then just go pick it up. Um, I don't remember Acme, the Acme or Wegmans doing that, but I could be wrong. Um, so anyway, I got a, um, and they do halves. So I didn't get a full cheesesteak. I just got a half and then I got a half of a turkey hoagie. Um, I've had Publix hoagies before. They're pretty good. Um, one of the better ones down here, they have a good roll. Um, but yeah, there's no like primos or cut above, like really good hoagie shops. So here we go. So that one feels cold. And then, yeah, that's warm. You got great taste. Well, hopefully you do too. So um, I just got um, American cheese, no onions, no peppers. Um, so I'm not real, I don't have many great, like Harry Cows, I don't have high hopes. Um, and when I looked online, it does say Philly cheesesteak, but um, when you read the description, it's hot roast beef with, you know, cheese and stuff. So technically not a cheesesteak, but you called it that, so I gotta try it. Publix has really good rolls too. Um, I usually, when I go shopping, I'll buy um, like a four or six pack of the rolls, throw them in the freezer. And when I make cheesesteaks at home, I'll use the Publix rolls. So here we go. First off, um, yeah, it's definitely roast beef. It almost actually looks like brisket. Um, and the cheese is not melted at all. <laughs> so um, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, cold cheese. My one buddy, Ron Revac, is gonna love that one. All right, Publix cheesesteak. I would more call this like a roast beef and cheese. Um, the meats taste pretty good. The cheese is cheese. It's on a roll. But yeah, so many places down here call it a Philly cheesesteak and it's like hot roast beef or, um, you know, shaved sirloin, which no, you have, it has to be ribeye. Now, if you've never been to Philly, and this is what you think a cheesesteak is, I feel sorry. It's good, it's not bad. Um, it's just not a cheesesteak. It's roast beef and cheese. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna have a hard time scoring this because I know a couple of the other places I did were like roast beef. Um, that polka deli was like shaved chip beef, like almost like um, cream chip beef kind of beef. Um, uh. And it wasn't bad. This, um, this half was only like six, seven bucks. So, yeah, my total order was, I think like 16, 15, 16 bucks for half of a cheesesteak and half of a turkey hoagie. Um, 
I know I gotta give it a score, but I'm like battling back and forth in my head. I can't decide. Um, it's, and it's actually better than some of the actual cheese steaks I've had here. The roll's really good. The meat's seasoned well. The cheese, I wish it was melted a little bit more. I'm gonna go 7.5. I know that's kind of high, but um, there's other ones that I've ranked low sevens that aren't as good as this, even though it's not a cheese steak. Now, um, just so you can see what we're dealing with with the hoagie or sub. It's not a sub, people. It's a hoagie. Ah, there we go. Well, eh. It looks pretty decent. A lot of onions. Um, but let's give this just a quick try. really good. This I just got um, turkey, bacon, um, lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickles. It's really good. Everything's fresh. I'm not going to ramble on too long. I'm going to finish this tonight for dinner. I'm going to get back to that cheesesteak. I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Um, I hope everyone has a good new year. And um, let's go birds.